by Zachary Visconti posted on April 2, 2024. Canoe has responded to media reports following its Q4 and 2023 financial results released this week, after one outlet said the commercial electric vehicle EV, manufacturer's 2024 revenue forecast disappointed. In a press release shared on Monday, Canoe reported its Q4 and full-year 2023 financials, in which it reported a GAAP net loss and comprehensive loss of $29 million for Q4 and $302.6 million for the full year. These figures were down from the GAAP net loss and comprehensive loss of $80.2 million and $487.7 million in the same periods in 2022. In addition, Canoe forecasts between $50 million and $100 million in 2024 revenue, which Reuters reported to be below analyst expectations of $152.5 million, as detailed in data from LSEG. The report also connected the results to a larger slowdown in the consumer electric vehicle EV market, adding that Canoe had warned for the eighth straight quarter about its dwindling capital and ability to continue as a going concern without additional funding. Following the news, Canoe's shares dropped by as much as 38% during extended trading hours. Canoe responded to the report in a LinkedIn post on Tuesday, saying that it was also more than a little disappointed that the company hadn't been asked to comment on the matter. The automaker also pointed out that Reuters had incorrectly labeled it as being in the consumer market though it has only worked with commercial customers so far and has generally been targeting that market. Had Reuters called Canoe for comment we would have told them that we raised $324 million in 2022 and $288 million in 2023 and we are currently in discussions with several entities and individuals about investing in the company this year, Canoe wrote in the post. We would have also told them that we have begun manufacturing, expect to step up our manufacturing effort this year, and have a backlog of orders. And, that we are not in the consumer market, we are in the commercial market. In addition, the EV maker highlighted the fact that the company's executives firmly believe in the company's future, adding that CEO Tony Aquila has personally contributed to the automaker. Canoe executives, including its CEO, have every confidence in the company. In fact, since mid-2020 and through 2023, Mr. Aquila has invested more than $350 million in the company's stock. The automaker just began initial deliveries of its latest Oklahoma-produced commercial lifestyle delivery vehicles (LDVs) in December, delivering a total of 17 vehicles in Q4 and an additional five that were produced in Texas earlier in the year. The initial deliveries went out to a few offices in the state of Oklahoma, as well as companies Kingby and Zeba. Earlier in the year, Canoe made deliveries to the U.S. Army and to NASA, though its Oklahoma production facility wasn't yet running. We will continue to make progress towards accessing additional forms of debt and other non-dilutive forms of capital as we move into 2024, said Canoe CFO Greg Etheridge in a call following the earnings report. Let's be very clear, we'll only raise the capital that we need.